So thank you so very much for taking the time out to learn a little bit more about me and why I'm running for city council. Why am I crazy enough to do it, right? Um, well, the question is why? Uh, why am I doing it? Um, you know, the point in time you come in your life that uh, you think, have I made an impact? Have I made a difference in, in anybody's life? And yeah, here and there I have, but be quite honest with you, up until about three and a half years ago before I surrendered my life to Christ, I didn't really make an impact. I uh, didn't really serve like I should. Um, I was more out for me and my family. Uh, but since my surrender, I've dedicated myself to serving, to making an impact uh, to whoever's around me um, or on a bigger stage like the city council. Um, I want to use my God-given talents to help and really serve and make a difference. So a little bit about me. I've, been, I've lived in the city limits for over 40 years. I've raised my boys here. I have a grandson I'm raising here. I absolutely love Winder. I love that small town feel. It's been cool to watch the growth. It's not been cool to watch the traffic, uh, but you know, make, traffic is another issue that we can talk about all day long. But you know, to take care of that, we have to work closely with the DOT. That's another. That's a side subject. That's me squirreling on you. Um, I'm not a politician. I am a businessman. Uh, so I take a different approach to government than most. Why do I think I'm the best candidate? Well, I'm glad you asked. So I've been blessed to own over 32 different businesses, four of which has been in the, in the city limits of Winder. And with that, I have a full understanding of how important it is for city to support local businesses, but also businesses support the city too which of course helps with economic growth and bringing you the citizens more places and businesses to frequent. Um, with that knowledge, I believe that local government should be run like a business. To be quite honest with you, if I ran my business like the government runs theirs, I would be told I would be bankrupt and out of business. So running a business, the first thing we look at is streamlining our business to make sure we can maximize the most profit. And that means cutting. That means making sure your departments are being run efficiently. You have budgets to meet. And I, I believe that before you raise taxes on your citizens, you need to really look at your in-house and clean up and look at some of those budgets and trim. And then if you do see that you still have to raise taxes, then you go back to the public and you explain what you did and why you need the money and why it's imperative for you to have it. That should take place each and every time before we decide to raise taxes. You know, one of the biggest issues that nobody's even looking at right now that needs to be addressed now to be proactive is our homeless situation. I don't know if you looked around, but look closely. We have a homeless problem now. And the more people come this way, the more homeless we're gonna have. I would rather be proactive, putting programs in place now to handle that now instead of waiting until it gets out of hand. We can bring more businesses downtown. We can beautify it, make it look like that small town feel. But if we have a homeless situation, it's going to wreck all of that. So handling that now instead of waiting to try to figure out something to do about it later needs to happen. The biggest problems that we have in our community is we're not working together. The city's not working with the county. Matter of fact, the county is suing the city. Uh, the city is not working with the Chamber of Commerce. There's no relationships there, unfortunately. And it's been like this for quite a while. I don't understand why. You need somebody to go in, start mending some of the relationships and trying to work together. There should, the city, the county, and the Chamber are vital to the growth of Barrow County and the city of Winder. The Chamber is a catalyst to help draw more businesses downtown. Um, the Chamber would be a great place to start a shop local program to encourage our local shoppers to shop here in town, which will generate more revenue for the city so we don't tax our residents. There are many opportunities that the city can make money besides raising taxes. We have a beautiful park that we spent millions of dollars on that's not being used. There, that park should be used every single weekend and find ways we can generate money with that park. Uh, we have a community theater that never gets used. Why can't we have comedy shows? Why can't we have plays to where when we go out on the weekends, we have somewhere to go. We can go to a nice play. Uh, we can go out to eat. And the city can generate a little revenue off that, too. We have a community center that is not open to the public to rent. Why? That could make thousands of dollars a year. And unfortunately, citizens are not able to rent that. It's been closed down for they say indefinitely. Why? I believe there's several ways that the city can generate revenue for the city can generate revenue without having to raise taxes. Transparency is key 
we need to have more transparency. And with social media and different avenues, we should be able to do that. People don't show up to city council meetings because they don't have time. We're all struggling for time. So how do we get the information to you guys uh, in, a, in a cliff note version so you'll know what's going on? Well, that's pretty easy to do. There's no reason when we get the agenda, we can't shoot a small video going, hey, this is what we're gonna talk about this evening. Uh, these are the pros, these are the cons. We'd like to know your opinion. Shoot that out to social media. Uh, we could start a Facebook group for Barrow County citizens. Inside that group, uh, the videos would be there, questions could be asked, answers could be there, so the city can be more involved. Those who don't have Facebook, we can send out emails, not a problem. Uh, we can send out emails. We have a local TV station that we barely use that we can use that avenue to. Being more transparent, with our citizens, encouraging them to help and encouraging them to be part of the growth is the key to our success. I believe in taking a proactive approach instead of a reactive approach. Um, I honestly feel that the current administration has been taking a reactive approach. Uh, this tax increase is a reactive approach from a problem that they've been sitting on for several years. Um, you know, some of you may not know, but the city makes their money, uh, have made their money primarily through utilities. And uh, some of that's fixed to be taken away. The county is actually suing the city uh, for part of that. And now the city's trying to figure out what to do, right? Um, those, that should have been taken care of a long time ago. Maybe taxes should have been raised a little bit back then to stop using utility money to run their government. You know, most importantly, finding ways to keep that small town feel in handling the growth that's coming our way. We're having a massive amount of growth. So how do we keep our small town feel? If we don't have the right people in place, that may get washed away. You love Winder like I do, you wanna keep that small town feel. Things you should know about me before you vote is that I'm high on integrity, I'm high on honesty, I'm always gonna do the right thing, and I always pray about every decision I make. So if you vote me in, guarantee that I'm working for you, I'm a servant for you, and I'm gonna make the best decisions that I know I can make that's gonna be the benefit for you. So thank you so much for taking your time out, and I look forward to see you on election day.